Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a temperature and it's in degrees Fahrenheit and here is the function. Now, what I want to be careful about is that X is the number of hours after midnight. So the first challenge is dealing with 7 p.m. A lot of students, myself included, plug in 7 for X. But in fact, here X equals 19 because 7 p.m. is 19 hours after midnight. The next challenge is to not confuse degrees in temperature and degrees in trigonometry. So in fact, this is in radians because they don't specify other, otherwise. Now, the third challenge, I think, is entering a calculator. When you go to y equals and type it in, you'll have this equation right here. I actually suggest avoiding the graph and going to second window, which is your table. So in our case, I want my table to start at midnight, which is zero, and go up by ones. Your table set up might say delta table or triangle with a little table, which means the change in the increments. But the nice thing is when you go to the second graph, you'll see your table and you see the hours throughout the day, and that makes this problem a little bit more manageable. So in this case, as you go towards um, 19, you'll see that 77.419 is clearly the answer, which is choice three. Now, if you're trying to graph it, look at this is my graph right here. Um, you might have some issues. Notice in this case, you to see this graph, the midlines up here around 74, which you can see in the equation. So you have to go to window and kind of mess around the, the Y max. I went to up to 100. And what you could do is hit second um, trace. And that will allow you to find uh, the exact value of the graph. So here you can type in a value. But right now this calculator is freezing, so I can't do it. And that'll work. Another way to do it is just type a second function. Um, well, actually, no. In this case, sorry, I was I was thinking of uh, a way to type in a vertical line. I said I don't, I don't really want to do that here, um, but I, let me just say then that, that the, probably the best way again is to go to the table and analyze it there. All right, I hope that helped.